Right, so you join us in the workshop again, but this time I'm prepping the Mini for its first gravel shakedown. Adjusting the championship coilovers, putting the gravel spring on. Um, I've also been doing some more livery work, uh, which we want to get into a bit later. So to get ready for um, the gravel um, events and gravel testing, we need to set these um, championship shocks up. So they're currently in tar specification. Um, so I've already taken this one apart, but basically we've got a tar spring and a gravel spring. And then you can adjust all of the collar heights and height adjustment with the um, obviously adjustable coil. So gonna get them set up to the correct height, get them back in the car. Both shocks are now done. Uh, it's really interesting to see the spring size comparison. Anyway, they're all adjusted, preloaded to kind of what I think they need to be. So both fronts now match. But um, got to wait for a hole saw because need to um, basically widen the access to the top because currently when you put the top camber plates in you can't actually adjust uh, the camber because of this slip so we're waiting on a hole saw so it's uh, Tuesday today I've just had the um, day off um, really busy with the vinyl cutter cutting out and trying to finish the rest of the livery um, on the car it was one of those jobs that I thought would be a couple of hours um, and it's definitely been all day but it's looking pretty good, you know, it's it's not, um, it's definitely not show car quality, it's race car quality, which is perfect, that's what it is. Um, but we're starting to get a couple of the brand, brands on and thinking of pairs where we can um, talk to partners and try and decide where they now want to put their stickers, which is great. So we've got um, one or two in the works for as partnerships throughout the year, which is great. So um, we'll see more of that in the future. Basically just finished up off that end with some uh, whip speed branding and whip speed branding on the bonnet and then obviously this side is still a little bit behind but all the stickers are cut out on top and the vinyl cut has been doing a pretty good job all day with the laptop so um, pretty good. Man, I am really not the person to be doing your vinyl. <sighs> that was a struggle. Um, but anyway, it's on. The blurred bit in the video. Um, that's our first partner, so it's really excited to be um, involved with them. Um, they're a local, uh, local dealership. We're going to get into that a bit more in another video. We're going to introduce them and kind of, you know, thank them for their support and tell them what we're going to do. But for the time being... Um, that vinyl's on, it's good, don't come look too closely. It's gonna look good going through the forest though, which is what it's about. So I think it's like quarter to 12 now. So um, I'm gonna pack up the garage, finish what I can tonight, and then um, get on with the rest of the suspension and the rest of the van and uh, event prep tomorrow. All right, so we're back on suspension today. Um, I managed to get the hole saw on the Dremel to widen both the strut tops so we can actually adjust the camber on the fly on the top mount. So I'm gonna get the gravel gravel springs and coilovers back in the car now and then we should be on the ground in 30 minutes or so. Right, so we're ready to get this gravel stuff back in. So Dremel the hole out, so we're basically ready to accept it. So if I can. Get the struts back in, then put the strengthening plate on top of the existing body, and then somewhere Basically what that means for us, I really like this because 
there's a round we need to do, I think in October, where we've got a half day gravel rally on the Saturday. And the day after is a tarmac championship round. So what that means for us is we need to actually go from gravel back to the tarmac setup in an afternoon. I wasn't sure how this was going to be, but having just changed the shocks around, I think it'll be absolutely fine. So that'll be something for the team to do before we marry off to the tarmac round on the Sunday. So uh, pretty simple, really. Right, super easy process getting this in and out. Uh, anti roll bar is now connected at the bottom. The lower hub bolt is now connected, and the three at the top are connected. Just need to torque them all up, and then I can um, jump onto the other side and then roll the car out and make sure that the heights and stuff are good for gravel. Right, before I torque up, um, we obviously need to know the torque specs quite a lot and quite easy to hand at the rally. So I've had to put together a whole service guide for the guys and myself to kind of do like service left. We need to check these things with this torque. So I'm gonna use this as a reference point now um, and go through and torque up all of that front suspension stuff. So Louis just come over. Um, we have got the car out, gravel suspension on, gravel tires on, most of the livery work done, so it's looking really nice. There's a couple of little bits we need to finish, so I won't show you that now. But annoyingly, the battery's flat. The little moped battery is flat, so we're gonna stick it on charge, and then um, it's already been nut and bolt checked, so I'll probably go out for a spin in it. Right, so we're just out for a test drive, me and Louis. Um, trying to make sure there's no clunks at the front we have got some clunks at the front um, but we're hoping it turned out to be one of the shocks set to full hard and um, so we've just dialed the, the damping right back on both of them and now we're going to back, get back on the road but we've got a bit of a noisy left hand side so we might have to do a bit of investigating when we get back it was a real whining noise so we've actually been looking around had it running um, up on the stands and we were trying to work out where the whining noise was coming from. We decided to drop the gearbox oil because there's a little bit of leakage underneath. That was full, but when we pulled the sump plug out of the gearbox, this is what we found. <clears throat> so I think somewhere in there is a roided bearing and it's just That's rubbing. Wrong. So that throws a spanner in the works for testing a bit because we're going to be testing on Friday and today's Sunday. And um, that's less than ideal. You can really hear it from inside the cabin as well. It's whining quite a lot. Right, this has uh, changed the mood quite a lot because, I mean, that is properly... You can't really see it, but it's properly bad. There are some chunks of metal in there. And it's like 4.30 on a Sunday. I don't think we're going to get a gearbox. Um, a gearbox before Friday, and I'm meant to be going back to work in London um, all of this week until Thursday. So I think we're going to have to cancel testing. I'm really lucky with cars. Fuck you. I do like it, though. I like it. I do like it. I hate it's it. just broken because I was looking forward to driving on gravel. Right, so we got an update. So the drama has been and gone. We know the gearbox is kaput. It's now like half, five, it's like quarter past five, I think. And we've just been looking around on Facebook Marketplace for um, the car. We found one about an hour away. Talked to the bloke. It's pretty complete. It was a breaker's car, so it's not. It's missing the headlights, but engine and gearbox is there. So. We're going to pay him 550 quid and we're going to go and pick it up now. So we are frantically packing up so we can get off in the van and get the trailer on and go and pick it up. 
It might not mean we can go testing still, but at least we've got a spare engine and gearbox that we can play with before Rally North Wales. Alright, let's get this trailer on, lad. Right, we're now back home. Behind me is our new spares car. Bit beaten up. It's already been parted out, parted out a bit, but importantly, it's got the box and the engine and a bunch of other stuff that we can use. So, all in all, pretty good, but a bit of a shame we get to miss testing still. I'm pretty gutted about that, but these things happen. It runs, it's got no exhaust. <laughs> So, I mean, it's all kind of there. Obviously, you can see it's missing headlights and stuff. It's been parted out a bit, but the main bits are there um, for what we need. So, kind of changes our tack a bit. We're meant to be ending this video with us going testing at the gravel and seeing what the mini's like um, on the gravel. That's not happening anymore. Um, so now, we are going to take the gearbox out of this, drop the engine, part this one out for spares, we're going to take the gearbox out of the rally car, combine the two, and then we are going to send it off to a gearbox place, hopefully, which is still to be decided. Uh... Another disaster that followed the um, gearbox breaking, which I don't think many people will know about, is that the black Mini that you saw us pick up at the very end of the last video, which was going to be our spares car for a new gearbox, as well as everything else we might need throughout this year, the car turned out to be two months too new. Oh no, God! No, God, please, no! So, in my haste, um, I just made the assumption that a 2004 Mini was a 2004 Mini. Not realising that in June, they changed from this, which is a Midland gearbox, to a more modern Getrag gearbox. So, unfortunately, the car that I bought is now kind of useless to me. So, after, you know... This one going wrong, rushing to buy the car, thinking we've already got it all sorted. That was a right kick in the teeth. Because now, essentially, I have a car that I don't need. Um, I can recycle some of the parts off it, but basically, I've had to source another, yet another gearbox. So, I am off tomorrow to pick it up early in the morning. So, unfortunately, I've got one Mini that's kind of useless to me at this point in time. So, yeah. Yeah, no testing unfortunately, so instead it's going to be um, gearbox rebuild and more preparation instead of just having the car ready for Rally North Wales. So, yeah, we're going to try and do some more episodes, so um, tune in, subscribe, that's what people normally do, because um, we're going to follow the Mini Rally Challenge adventure um, for the rest of this year. So, yeah, see you in the next one.